Welcome to Precalculus. I'm going to be your teacher on Mrs. Pond. It's also called JCC Math 185 if you choose to get four credits for college credit. I made this little video so that you could see how we run um, this course at Carthage Central and your opportunity for getting college credit and an overview of your course syllabus. So if you have any questions, you can look at this and see how this class is run at the school. Okay, the pre-calculus course at Carthage Central School is a full year course. That means you're in the class for the entire year. But we break it down into two sections. You need to stay in for the whole year to get a full credit. In the fall, I cover college algebra and I go over, um, I practice some algebra 2 trig review and I also do some acuplacer prep and I'll talk about acuplacer in a minute. But all this is kind of done in the fall to prepare you and to help you so that you can actually start taking the, the pre-calculus course in the spring. This also you are eligible to get um, JCC, which is our local community college. You can get a math credit of four credits um, if you do the prerequisites. Okay. Now, the prerequisites for being in the course itself is that you have to pass the Algebra 2 Trig Regents with at least a 65 and that you've passed the class with at least a 65. Then you're eligible to come in and take pre-calculus. A lot of my students choose to take pre-calculus and they don't get college credit, but they take it their senior year or junior year and then it helps them prepare for calculus or for college. If you choose to take it for college credit, the course is no different. The course is the course. What everybody takes in the class is what everybody's going to do. Whether you take it for college credit or not, that's what the course will be. There's not any extra except for that you have to pay a certain amount in January to enroll and get a transcript for the JCC portion, but it's, it's the class. The prerequisites for getting JCC credit are you have to pass your Algebra 2 Trig Regents with at least an 85. If you don't have that prerequisite and you would like to still be in pre-calculus, you can take an Accuplacer, which is an online test that they use to determine your math skills. If you score 75 to a 102 on that, you can also take it for college credit. In January, they do allow us to have students um, retake the Algebra 2 trade regions so that you can try for a higher grade. And we are also offering after-school Accuplacer prep that you can take for a few weeks to practice it so that you can take that and hopefully score in this range so that you can take for college credit. But that is all done um, outside of class. The course description. This course gives a background for calculus, hence the name pre-calculus. It's harder than Algebra 2 Trig in New York State. I do use a lot of those topics, but I do a lot more applications, um, word problems, and, and it's a lot of practice. It's a very good course for you to get a very good basis for calculus. The topics to include but are not limited to are college algebra, which is what I usually cover in the fall, linear and quadratic functions, exponential and logarithmic excuse me, exponential and logarithmic functions, trigonometric functions, power functions, polynomials and rational functions, and inverses. I sometimes in other years even get a little bit further and do matrices, um, but this is basically the topics that I've covered um, steadily throughout the years. Attendance policy. Attendance is expected every class. You are responsible for everything covered in a class. Attendance is the single greatest predictor of success in any class. We here at Carthage have block scheduling. If you miss one class, you've really essentially missed two days of class. And you need to make sure that you come in and find out what you've missed. I have a lot of the videos of the topics online so you can watch those and take notes and come in and practice. But you need to come in after school and meet with me and make sure that you understand what's going on because it's very difficult to make that up. Because it's math, we have assignments. And we have assignments almost every day. The assignments are graded every class. Full credit is awarded if all problems are completed with the required work. The reason why I say that is because I typically give answers and I need to see how you obtain those answers to make sure that you're doing the work correctly. 
So if you just put your answers down, that doesn't help. I need to see how did you get that answer. Course materials. There's a textbook what we have. It's called Functions Modeling Change of Preparation for Calculus. Here at Carthage Central, we purchase the textbook. So that's not any cost to the student at all. You will have a textbook in the class, whether you take this for college credit or not. I expect you to buy two notebooks, a spiral notebook, but I want it exclusively for math. And it, sh it could be even a couple, three subject spiral notebook because you will fill it up doing your homework in it. And you need to purchase one two inch three ring binder because you will create a portfolio for this class that when you're done you will have it to take with you whether you go on to college or on the calculus. I will talk more about a portfolio in another video but these are the what you'll need. This definitely at the beginning of school this you can wait a little bit because we'll start it a few weeks when school starts. And we also use TI Inspire CX calculators. In all our classrooms here at Carthage we um, have a full set of calculators for students to use during class but you're going to need one, especially at this level, to have a calculator at home. If you have a TI-84+, Plus, please don't run out and buy one, but make sure that you, um, this is going to be different keystrokes than the one that you'll have at home, but you'll definitely need a graphing calculator at home. I hope this helps to show you what the course is like. Um, and I will also be giving a, a course syllabus to all my students so they can look it through, and if anyone has any questions, please give me a call.